Good afternoon, dear students. I'm teacher George and welcome to your class number four. Today we have another fabulous class, so I'm very much excited. And I hope that all of you are at the same time, okay? All right, so let's get started with our class. Um, the topic for today's class, it's habits. Please repeat after me, habits. No, no habits, habits. Habits, okay, perfect, habits, all right? So in order for us to start, I'm going to take assistance, okay? All right, Rosalia Mendez, Rosalia, good afternoon, Rosalia. I'm fine, thank you, how are you? Excellent, I'm glad to hear. Guadalupe Bravo, oh, there you are. Good afternoon, Guadalupe. I'm doing great, thank you. Gina Jimenez. Gina? Good afternoon, Gina. I'm doing great, thank you. Jonathan Zumba. Jonathan? Good afternoon, Jonathan. I'm excellent, thank you. Diego Guaman. Diego? Good afternoon. I'm doing fantastic, thank you. How are you? I'm glad to hear. And Azucena Peñafiel. Azucena? There you are. Excellent. Okay. All right. So let's continue with our class. Can somebody help me with today's date, please? Thank you. Today is Thursday. Thursday, July 22nd. July 22nd, 2021, okay. Okay, now I'm going to present you the class, the today's objectives, objectives for today's class, okay? So the objectives for today's class are the following. During this lesson, students will be able to as far as speaking goes, you are going to learn to, to talk about how often you guys do some things, okay? So related to routines, to habits, or to repeated actions, okay? You're going to talk about that. Um, also, as far as grammar goes, we are going to learn how to use the simple present tense, okay? Which is very much fun. And as far as vocabulary goes, we are going to learn about the adverbs of frequency, okay? All right, are you guys ready? Excellent, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I want you to, I'm going to put you in pairs, okay? All right, so I'm gonna make the, we go, I'm going to put them, I'm going to put you in pairs. One second. Okay. All right. So group number one, Rosalia and Guadalupe. Okay. Group number two, Gina and Jonathan. And group number three, we have Diego and Azucena. Okay. Diego and Azucena. Okay. So now in your groups, I want you to look at this image that I posted on the board. I just wrote this information on the board. And what does it say? Can somebody help me reading? Maybe Guadalupe. Okay, it says today. The day is, example, Wednesday. Uh huh. The date is, example, the 12th. Continue, Jonathan, please. This month is, example, March, perfect. It is the week of the month, example, second, right? The year is 2015. All right. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to analyze these questions, okay? You have two minutes to analyze these questions in your groups, okay? All right. Now, um, also for this activity, I want you to uh, have access to a calendar, okay? 
get a calendar ready or a calendar nearby for each group a calendar, okay? All right. Okay, time's up, guys. Time's up. Now, look what I have in here. What is it? Look at it carefully. It is a, it is a calendar. Yes, look at it. It's a calendar and it has, in the calendar, we can see that it has information about the month, the day, the week, right? The year. So a calendar can be very helpful when it comes to finding information about keeping track of um, the time that we are using the week, the year, the day, the month, okay? All right, so in your groups, I want you to um, use this calendar to fill up the blanks, okay? All right, so I'm going to start asking questions so that you um, are going to fill up the blanks, okay? All right, so group number one, Rosalia and Guadalupe. The day is Thursday, thank you. Thursday, right? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. The date is Thursday. Okay. So I'm going to raise this one. Okay. Thursday. There it is. Okay. All right. The date, please. Group number two, Gina and Jonathan. It is the 22nd. It is the 22nd, thank you. Let's go with this month is group number three, Diego and Susana. July. Okay, um, group number one again, it is the, the third week of the month. Right, okay, and the last group, um, Gina and Jonathan answer the last question, please. The year is 2021, 2021, okay. All right, so did you see how useful a calendar was to do this activity? It was really useful, right? Why? Because it provides, like I said, it provides all the information about the year, right? About the year, about the month, about the number of weeks that a month has and the specific days. So a calendar, what it does is it helps us keep track of our routines or the time that we're investing in certain actions, okay? So this is very important that you guys understand for today's class, because today we are going to talk about Habits, right? Habits, okay. So what is a habit? So now I'm going to explain you what's a habit. A habit is a behavior that is repeated regularly, okay? And this behavior can be manifested through an action, through a routine or through a lifestyle, okay? So here we have another example of what a habit is. A habit is something that you do over and over again like how you write, how you fold your arms, how you brush your teeth, that's a habit, okay? It's something that you do over and over again. It's a repeated action, okay? It's a repeated action. So in order for an action to be called a habit, it has to be repeatedly, it has to be repeated, right? It has to, you cannot say, uh, you know, for example, that you do an activity today and then you don't do it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow and you can call that a habit. No, in order for it to be called a habit, it needs to be repeated. It needs to be, um, you know, it has to be like, like, like repeated regularly, right? Like every day possible, right? So it's an activity that, that has to happen uh, regularly. Okay, now something very important that I need you to explain that in order for us to talk about habits, there's something, there's a structure in grammar that we're going to be using, which is the simple present. We use the simple present to describe 
or daily routines or work habits, okay? So I want you to look at the following image, okay? And we're going to look at the examples I provided here. Help me reading the examples. Diego, wake up, okay? Get up, brush teeth, okay? Continue, Azucena, take a shower, get dressed, continue, Rosalia, have breakfast, take a bus, no bus, bus, take a bus, continue, Guadalupe, go to school, okay, take a break, continue, Gina Jimenez, study, eat, Lunch, no lunch, eat lunch. Repeat it again, eat lunch, okay? Continue, Jonathan, go back home, go back home, do my homework, watch TV, and finally, have dinner and go to bed. So do you see how this is a routine? It is a routine, why? Why is it a routine? Because it, it repeats itself daily, regularly, right? You see that it starts in here and it goes all around here and it finishes again here. So it's a circle, right? So we use the simple present tense to talk about habits, okay? Um, so now I want you to, um, I want you to tell me about some examples about habits that you guys have, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna ask you, look at the images first, and now I want you to think of examples about habits that you guys have, okay? So let's start with Rosalia, please. Give me an example of a habit. I eat breakfast every day, perfect, good job. Continue Guadalupe, another example of a habit. They go to church on Sunday. Exactly, yeah, that's a habit, thank you. Continue, um, Gina plays, another example. Anna shops at Tia, right? Perfect. Continue, Jonathan, uh, Diego. Rosa fast during Holy Week. What's fast? Um, Fast is the abstinence of eating food, okay? So Rosa fasts during Holy Week means that she's not eating food as an offering to the Holy Week, okay? All right, continue, Azucena, please. I work in a shop, perfect. I work in a shop, perfect. Okay, perfect. All right, so now what I want you to do is, um, now that we know how to, what is a habit and we share about some habits, general habits, I want you to tell me about your favorite habits, okay? All right, so let's go again. Now we're gonna go from the last student to the first. Let's go with Azucena Peñafiel. Tell me your favorite habit. I eat too much junk food, perfect. I eat too much junk food. So that's, a, that's your favorite habit, right? Correct, so that's your favorite habit. So Azucena eats too much junk food, so that's her favorite habit. Let's go with Diego. I do my shopping at the weekend. Perfect, I do my shopping at the weekend. That's his favorite habit. Okay, let's go one more example, Jonathan Sumba. I set up my alarm at eight o'clock every day. I set up my alarm at eight o'clock every day. So that's his favorite habit, right? That's his favorite habit. I set up my alarm clock every day. Okay, perfect. All right, so now what I want you to do is um, I'm going to uh, make groups of three students, okay? Okay, one second, let me create the groups, okay? I'm going to create the groups. All right, so that will be three groups, okay? 
Wait a minute. So group number one, Rosalia, Guadalupe, and Gina. Group number two, Jonathan, Diego, and Azucena. Okay, so it's gonna be three groups of three. And what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at the following web page that I'm gonna present you, okay? Okay. Okay, so I want you to use your calendars that you have nearby, okay, use your calendars. And I want you to work in these questions. It says how often questions, okay? So I want you to work in these questions and I wanna hear the pronunciation and your responses. Okay, all right, so let's get to it. Please let's start with your activity. Okay. All right, so let's go with group number one, Rosalia, Guadalupe, and Gina. So Rosalia, ask Guadalupe. Guadalupe, how often do you order delivery food? I order delivery food once a week. Perfect. Okay, uh, now Gina asks Rosalia, how often do you run? I occasionally run, right? Occasionally, okay? That means that it doesn't happen very often, okay? All right, now, uh, group number two, Jonathan asks Susana, please, how often do you eat junk food? I hardly ever eat junk food, perfect. Now, Susana asks Diego, how often do you drink? I hardly ever drink. Perfect. Now, Jonathan asks Azucena, how often do you travel? I hardly ever travel. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. So are you guys, are you guys understanding the dynamic of how to use um, how often questions? And what is a habit? Yes, you are? Okay, perfect. Okay, so now what I want you to do is uh, I'm gonna put you in pairs, okay? So I'm gonna put Rosalia with Azucena. I'm gonna put Guadalupe with Diego and Gina with Jonathan. Okay, and we are going to play a board game, okay? It's called a, how often do you board game, okay? So in here, what you have to do is you're gonna play with your partner. I'm gonna give you a dice, a digital dice, okay? The dice is right here. Okay, so whichever number falls into the dice, that would be the number of spaces that the player will start from here. And let's say, for example, here. So you throw the dice. For example, I have three spaces, right? So that means you will go one, two, three. So student one asks the other, how often do you ride a horse? And the other person has to say, I ride a horse once a week, regularly, occasionally, hardly ever, once a day, once a year, okay? So this is how we are going to, and then wh whichever player, gets to the finish line first, it's the winner in this game, okay? All right, so let's get to it. Okay, I wanna hear the questions, guys. I'm not hearing it. I want you to speak more loudly. How often what? Do you drink beer? Okay, I drink beer, what? Sometimes. Okay, perfect. How often do you visit your grandparents? Guadalupe. I visit my grandparents once a month, okay? Good answer. How often do you iron your clothes? I iron my clothes every day. How often do you travel? 
I usually travel. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to, um, let's continue with the class. So now I want to introduce you to the next activity, which is adverbs of frequency, okay? So what's adverbs of frequency? Adverbs of frequency describe the percentage of, of an activity, of what's the percentage of one activity is done. For example, never, we have 0%, hardly ever means 5%, seldom means 10%, occasionally means 30%, Sometimes means 50-50, often and frequently 70%, normally and generally 80%, usually means 90% and always means 100%, okay? So as you can see, these are the adverbs of frequency and they describe, they describe the percentage of an action. And it is formed by a subject plus adverb plus the main verb. For example, subject Daniel, Adverb always passes main verb his exams. Subject plus B plus adverb, he is always happy. Okay. So let's look at examples. I always study after class. I usually walk to work. Can you see always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, never. I usually walk to work. I normally get good marks. I often read in bed at night. I sometimes sing in the shower. I occasionally go to bed late. I seldom put salt on my food. I hardly ever get angry. Vegetarians never eat meat, okay? So there's another image that I wanna present you that describe adverbs of frequency. Help me reading um, the adverbs of frequency in this image, please. Um, let's see, Rosalia. Always, 100%, I always wake up at six o'clock. 90% usually, I usually come home after work. 80% normally and generally, I normally swim after school. Often and frequently, I often spend Christmas with friends. Sometimes 50%, I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. 30% occasionally, I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. 10% seldom, I seldom go to the library. 5% rarely, I rarely listen to the radio. And 0%, never, I never listen to rock music, right? I never listen to rock music. Okay, so can you see the importance of the adverse of frequency? Why are they important, Jonathan? Exactly, because they describe the percentage of an action, the amount, <coughs> the amount of how an action is done, right? Whether it could be 0%, 20%, 30, 40, 50%, right? Perfect, good answer. Okay, so now I'm gonna present you a video that's going to explain you a little bit better um, about this. Um, the adverse of frequency. So I want you to pay attention, please. Okay. Let's look at the following video, please. I want you to pay attention. Okay, so the video is starting. Hola, bienvenidos al canal y a esta nueva sección. Pay attention, please. Jonathan, you're not paying attention. Yes, we're going to be watching this um, video in YouTube. I'm just presenting you now. Whoa, Adapted Mind Math. Come explore the site with me. I'm in Okay, one grade. second. Dito, a fun fishing adventure. <laughs> okay. Okay, now the video is starting. Bienvenidos al canal y a esta nueva sección. Mini lesson. En este video vamos a aprender brevemente sobre adverbios y expresiones de frecuencia. Así que tome nota. Comencemos. Frequency adverbs. ¿Cuándo los usamos? To say how often you do something. 
para decir con qué frecuencia estás en un salón. Veamos una lista con los más comunes que se aprenden en nivel básico. Primero sería always y en el otro extremo never. Always siempre, never. Que pay attention, please. La lista la Diego, you're not paying attention. I'm watching you. Usualmente, usually, usualmente, sometimes, a veces, y hardly ever, casi nunca. Do you see the frequency? ¿Qué posición ocupan estos adverbios en una oración afirmativa? Adverbs go before all main verbs, except the verb to be. This is something very important. The adverbs go before all main verbs, except the verb to be. I always cook. I always cook. You often run. You often run. They usually do yoga. They usually do yoga. We sometimes swim. He hardly ever wins. He hardly ever wins. She never smokes. She never smokes. Entonces, como pueden ver en los ejemplos, tenemos el main verb o el verbo principal y el adverbio va a ir antes de este, entre el sujeto y el verbo. Do you see this? So that's the structure to use adverbs of frequency. And like I said, and because an there's an exception that, that accept the verb to be. Pay attention to this. This is something very important. I am always late. I am always late. Do you see? The verb to be is before the adverbs. She is usually stressed. We are often worried she's usually stressed, right? Okay, so enough of the video. Now I want you to think of examples about the adverbs of frequency that we just learned, okay? Yes, you have two minutes to think of examples. Okay, so I'm gonna start asking for the examples. Let's go with um, Rosalia, please. Yes, give me your examples about the adverbs of frequency. Josh usually fed his dog cheap food. Okay, Job usually fed his dog with cheap food, perfect. Continue Guadalupe Bravo. Monica sometimes wishes she was single. <laughs> Monica sometimes she wishes. Monica sometimes wishes she was single. Perfect, sometimes. Let's go with uh, Gina Jimenez, please. My uncle seldom watches TV at night. My uncle seldom watches TV at night. Thank you, perfect. Continue, Jonathan, please. Rocio used to often take walks along that road. Rocio used to often take walks along that road. Perfect. And the last one, Diego. Diego rarely makes a mistake. Diego rarely makes a mistake. Perfect. That's an excellent use of the adverse of frequency. Good job, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna put you in groups again. Okay, in pairs. Okay, so group number one, Rosalia and Guadalupe. Group number two, Gina and Jonathan. Group number three, Diego and Azucena. Okay, so let me just form the groups. Okay, all right. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna have a discussion uh, where a student A is going to make a question with how often, right? And a student B has to answer. For example, a student A can say, how often do you ride a bike? A student B can say, I ride a bike every day. You know, okay. So I want you to answer these questions, please. And um, and once you're finished, you're going to swap roles, okay? I want to listen, guys. Okay. How often? What? How often do you go for walks? I seldom go for walks. Perfect. Continue, please.
Okay. All right. Well done. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to continue with our class. Now I'm going to write four sentences on the board, okay, which are examples of the time frequency structures. However, one of them, three of them, these ones are going to be true, and one of them is going to be false. Okay, for example, here I say, I cook dinner five times a week, which is true. I go to the gym three times a month, which is true. I play golf five times a year. This is false, okay? So here I'm putting the example of which one is the false one. I never ride a bike, which is true, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to write four sentences and I want you to um, tell me four, three, three of them has to be true and one of them has to be false. And you have to um, let the class guess which one is false, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's get to it. All right. Remember, you have to, um, one of them has to be a lie. Okay, so let's go with uh, Jonathan. What are your sentences? I what? I swim at the local pool every day, okay? I go to the gym seven times a week, okay? I play soccer occasionally. And I never ride a motorcycle. Okay, guys, so now you guys have to guess which one is the false one. Exactly, that he goes to the gym seven times a week. Okay, perfect. Good job, guys. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's continue, please, because we are uh, running out of time. Now I'm going to put you in pairs again, okay? And you're going to uh, make a demonstration about um, the how... Like a student A is gonna make an, a question, how often, and the other student has to answer, okay? You guys want to make a demonstration? So again, the groups um, is gonna be uh, Rosalia with Azucena, Guadalupe with Diego, and Gina with Jonathan, okay? You guys are going to make a, a short demonstration about the how often questions, okay? Just a very short demonstration, okay? All right. Just a short demonstration, yes. Okay, so Rosalia asks Susana, please. How often do you take shower? Rosalie is asking, as an answer, please. I regularly take shower, perfect. Continue, um, one second, I'm gonna put you the, I'm gonna show you the last image of the adverse of frequency. You can, so you can have more access to them. One second. Um, so you can, you can have more access to them, okay? To the adverse of frequency. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. I'm gonna leave, yeah, that's the last image that I want you to present. Okay, one second. So I'm just gonna share my screen once again. Okay, there it is. Okay, there it is. Okay, all right, so.
Okay, so here it is. All right, so now I want you to make a quick demonstration about the others of frequency. A student A is gonna make questions to the student B, okay? Like Rosalia is going to make, Rosalia with Azucena, um, Guadalupe with Diego and Gina with Jonathan. Okay, you guys can make a quick demonstration about the use of how often questions. Okay, how often, okay, so Rosalia asked Azucena, how often do you take shower? I always take shower, perfect. Continue, uh, Diego and Guadalupe. How often do you eat meat? I usually eat meat. Okay, perfect. And one last one. Um, Gina asks Jonathan, how often do you make mistakes? I make, I sometimes make mistakes. Perfect. Good job, guys. It's excellent. Okay, all right. So for our final activity, what I want you to do is, um, for our final activity, what I want you to do is, I want you to write me three sentences about yourselves regarding the habits and, and the use of adverse frequency, as well as, as well as I want you to send me an audio file through my phone because I wanna hear your pronunciation, okay? All right? Okay, so let's get to it. Do your sentences, please. Yes. Do your sentences. Talking about your habits, but using the adverse of frequency, okay? You have two minutes. Okay. All right, so time's up. Now I'm gonna make the final review. Okay, so what we learned today. Okay, so today we, what did we do today? Today we started by learning the importance of a calendar by organizing information about the, the day, the week, the month, the year, right? Then we learn about habits, right? We learn about habits. And we said that habits is a action that has to be repeated regularly. Uh -huh. Then we, le we learn a bit about description of what habits are. And we learn that when we describe our habits, we have to use the simple present because the simple present is used to describe daily routines, right? Okay. Then we learn about the uses of adverse frequency, as well as we also. Um, we also um, participated in groups answering the how often questions, right? We also use, we also played a board game using the how often questions. We use the digital dice. We um, we saw some images of the use of the adverse of frequency in images, as well as we also saw a YouTube video that I presented to you guys, right? We saw the YouTube video. We participated in group writing sentences about the structure of time, of time frequency structures making one lie. We did a demonstration of the use of how often questions with our partner. And we were supposed to write three sentences about ourselves using the adverse of frequency, describing our habits using the adverse of frequency and sending, and, and you're supposed to record an audio file, sending me those sentences so that I could hear, right? Perfect, excellent. So that, that's, that's all for today. Does anybody have any question? Anything that was not clear or? Everything is clear. Did you guys like today's class? Excellent. I'm glad to hear. All right. As far as I'm concerned, it's been a pleasure. I hope that you guys like today's class and I look forward to see you in our last class, the class number five, okay? 
have yourselves a great afternoon and I will see you in our last class, the class number five, okay? All right, take care. Bye, bye for now, bye, bye.